feel like I'm in a fog. She's devastated for the two children she shared with Felix Calada. We were together for about, you know, 12 years. But she's not making excuses for his crimes. I don't want to say that we gave up on him because... <sighs> Because we really did it. We tried. You can't help somebody that doesn't want to be helped. Sonia Lopez joined her brother in writing an open letter to the wife of fallen officer David Romrell, who died after her ex-boyfriend ran him down with his car, saying her family prayed for Officer Romrell's family when they learned he had died. We were all very devastated to find out that he didn't make it. Calada was shot and killed by police during the encounter. But death almost came earlier for Kalata. In March, Utah Highway Patrol says he and his new girlfriend were high on meth. When Kalata ran a red light and plowed into another car, ejecting his girlfriend and killing her. UHP says he was set to be formally charged with felony DUI before he was shot by police. But Lopez says Kalata shouldn't have even been out of jail. And why was it taking so long to charge him? We all agree. His mother agrees with that, with that question. Kalata was gravely injured in his DUI accident, and investigators say there wasn't enough evidence to charge him until tox results came back. And automobile death investigations can take months. But just before he died, he did serve time. According to court documents, Collada was sentenced to 50 days here in the Salt Lake County Jail for a probation violation stemming from a 2015 drug charge. He was released just a few weeks before he was killed. In his last court appearance, September 11th, though notorious for skipping his hearings, Collada told the judge he wanted to be done with that case. I just want to get my time. I want to get done with this case. And it's been, it's been year after year, you know. It's taking me. It's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get done, and, you know. Now, Lopez is coming to Utah to bury her ex, and she's hopeful she'll be able to express condolences personally to Romrell's wife. But as a mother, you know, I, I would be more than happy to kind of just give her a big hug to tell her that I know how she feels. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. You know, Lopez says that drugs actually turned Collada into the criminal that he became. In the letter that her brother wrote to the officer's wife, Collada's family says despite their grief, they recognize Officer Romrell died a hero, and they will raise Collada's children to know that Romrell was the good guy.